Hello kids, Steve coming back at you with another special edition of Mail Day. I received quite a few packages today. Maybe I can add to the special things people have been sending me. Now a couple of these are from eBay. And I'll do my best to do a certain one last. So the one and only Bud Stoney can turn off his camera because he knows I bought a bunch of these for him special and he's going to be having a care package coming out. This first one and there's my address if you would like to contribute since this is all I get to open because Target around here, Walmart, Walgreens, no one has cards. They haven't for about a month or better for me to buy. All shelves are barren and mostly filled up with non-sport gaming cards and I'm just not into Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Dragon Ball Z like some people. This first one is from Junk Wax Girl which is awesome. I sent her a video and was just so taken aback and smiling especially for two of the cards that she opened because the Roberto Clemente she kept looking at because she'd never seen it before. I knew she was in PA, so I figured she would love a Clemente card. I forgot even which one I sent her. It was, I think, maybe one of the all-time great Diamond Kings from several years ago. I cannot remember. But the other one I sent her was, I believe, Mike Musina, who's in the Hall of Fame as well. But it was a sport flick card from later on in the sport flick runs. And she kept looking at it and turning it. And you could see all the different motion pictures. Which I thought was cool. And I absolutely loved her reaction. Which is what this is about. The reaction and the giving. Not the receiving stuff in return. Which I totally, totally appreciate. But you never have to do that. She's been watching some of my videos and knows some of the quirky things I'm into. So this is going to be exciting. I guarantee it. So, let's take a look here. Okay. Good packing. I mean, everything seems to be just perfect in there. That's awesome. <laughs> See, she does know. In Series 2 of The Mandalorian begins on Disney Network October 30th. And it's going to feature, and if you've seen the trailer, Ahsoka Tano is going to be a new character now. But I, I just love these cards here. These are fantastic. Cannot wait to open this one later. And anything I get like this in blaster form, I will open on camera at a later date. Just because, like I said, I have nothing to open. And today I've got... Three other packages as well, so that'll be good. Oh, and a sleeve of cards. And top and bottom right away are getting getting me a little excited. I have never seen that. That's a shiny, shiny card. I believe that's Jeremy Burnett's. Yep, Jeremy Burnett's of your Milwaukee Brewers. Awesome. She knows my team, and she knows my non-sports, and my pseudo-sports. Pseudo-sport. Non-sport, sport. She got my trifecta, so that's kudos. Start here with that Burnett's. That is really cool. I've never seen that. Is that one card or two in there? Oh, that is cool. That is one card with very different front and backs to it. I like that. Thank you very much. PC that for sure. And The Undertaker versus Kane. My my two favorite wrestlers, Kane now, Glenn Jacobs, is the mayor of Knox County for the Republican Party in Tennessee, where my parents have retired to, and my dad is the Re county treasurer for the Republican Party, and I believe has even met Glenn Jacobs for them. That's cool. There's a couple of oldies but goodies. Who do we got there? Yep, that's who I thought it was, Southern Justice. That's awesome. Who we got here? Oh, Wade Miley. Nice. Very awesome. 
that's definitely a PC that's the chrome finish of the base card and in tops oh king of wands Jesus Aguilar there's an insert from oh, who is this I keep forgetting oh gypsy queens how could I forget that hey there's my boy Christian Yelich award winner oh wow just wow the masters of the game that is sweet these are really really nice and beautiful cards. Ah, another Christian Yelich not having the best season but he's in double digit home runs again but this year shows everybody that's awesome looking card hey thank you grab yourself a glass of haterade with Josh Hader that's a pretty sweet card what's well, funny he wears the jersey number of one of my favorite Packers of all time and I got the Packers jersey number 71 Santana Dotson the atomic dog of the early 90s and a Super Bowl winner pretty nice looking Mike Young from the 89 upper deck series that's cool Greg Brock, I remember when we signed him in the offseason to play first base for a couple of years. That's great. I saw him play. Chris Basio saw him lose the game at County Stadium to Nolan Ryan, where Nolan Ryan achieved his 300th victory. I was, for, I was there for Ryan's 300th victory. It was in Milwaukee against this guy right here. Ooh, a nice older picture of Tom Houseman, 1977 card. That's actually in pretty decent shape. That's definitely my PC. K-Rod, Francisco Rodriguez. Remember him? That's awesome. Very cool. Someday he should go into the Hall of Fame because he played well after this. But 2014, he had already amassed 348 saves. There are people in the Hall of Fame with less than that as relief pitchers. Bob Gibson. He was a good mid-80s player. That's from 85. Teddy Higuera. Man, that guy was on a beast on the mound. Billy Joe Robido. He was very good, outfield first baseman, but also the reason they signed Greg Brock, because he couldn't really hit for nothing. Nice, Robin Yount, member's choice card. That's actually really sweet. That's the first one of these I have gotten since they came out way back in 92, so that's definitely going PC, and as they all are. And the 90 score, Robin Yount, just that sweet swing of the kid. That's right, the kid. He was nicknamed that 20 years before Griffey Jr. ever came out. Well, not 20, 15 years before. So thank you very much, Chunk Wax Girl. And I just watched the video he uploaded today. And again, another gem. Keep up the good work. And I appreciate this from the bottom of my heart. Now, the next one. Card Shack in New York. Make sure everything is down. I don't want to cut any of my purchases. I will open it on camera, take a look off camera, see if this is one that I need to set aside. And I think it is. Let me just carefully get in here so I know. And yes. This is the one that I need to set aside briefly before I show everyone else what I got. Okay, now, moving right along, is one from Michael Zimkand. Okay, so, again, open this one very carefully, so it's not cutting. Wow, this thing is full. Absolutely full. Okay, yeah, this is an eBay purchase. Now, all of 
this right here with shipping came to eleven ninety eight. And why that is significant, I'll show you in a minute. But I won another auction from the same time, so he took off shipping and threw this in the same package. And that a Robin Yount Chunky Chunky. Very beautiful patch card. And it says, you have received a souvenir logo patch limited edition collectible from the Upper Deck Company. And it is from 2003. Just look at that beauty. It's not numbered, but you know what? This collector don't care. That is really sweet. Now, the things I got here. Let me tell you what. I got 46 um, cards, all of Chiefs Hall of Fame tight end Tony Gonzalez. He was inducted in 2019, as he really should have been. I'm really trying to open this as carefully as I possibly can. Mask, I use it some tape from hell. Almost, I think. Almost, almost. Well, let's see if we can carefully do that. Yep, we can. Alrighty. Then, in this first one here, and these are all going to be Tony Gonzalez from throughout the years, some very beautiful cards, as you can see. Some older cards. Some newer cards, but everyone, chief. That's a die cut card. That should be in a sleeve. I will do it. Is that the rookie? Oh, that's cool. That one's in a sleeve. That's very awesome. And I know you guys are thinking Tony G for cards later in his career. Eh. But, once again, we will get into some of the better ones here. Come on. Alright. So. A few of these will be put aside because they are more special than the others. Now, in this, for under... 12 bucks, like I said, 11 is your 97 or 98 with shipping. There was nine rookie cards. So nine Hall of Fame rookie cards. And I live here in KC area now, so these are very, very hot. And look at these. I mean, just absolute beautiful. A couple of that one. I know there's a couple of that one. That's got to be my favorite one right there. Just incredible looking. We got one more like this coming. We got a couple of those. Just absolutely magnificent. In fact, there's another one of that same one in this package. Which, again, I'm going to have to carefully... Do my best to open. It too has a lot of tape and I do not want to damage a card, obviously. Okay, good. Alright, so I did get another one of that, like as promised. Look at these beautiful, beautiful cards. Just gorgeous. Again, every single one, Tony Gonzalez, every single one on the Chiefs. And you can't ask for a lot more beautiful than this. Oh, that's cool. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means I obviously missed 
two of the rookies in here, but I'll go through them later so I don't keep boring you with my treasures. Oh yeah, and two of them are numbered cards. One with Priest Holmes number 400 of 1250. That's even, as you can see my hand through it, a see-through card. And here's one that is Leaf Certified, numbered 56 of 150. That too is a beautiful, beautiful card. So I really, really appreciate these. And I'm so glad I found them and found them so cheap. My goodness. That's awesome. So now let's open another package. Not quite sure what this is from. And maybe it's eBay, maybe it's another one of you out there. Looks to be like. Okay, this one appears to be from John. I hope I say your name right. Brzyz, B R Z Y Z, or B R Z Y S. And again, there's my mailing address if anyone else would like to participate and, you know, help the hobby grow. Because I have absolutely no problem returning the favor at all. Let me see about getting this open here. I like what I see already on it. On the back, I do see some UFC cards. Okay, so, uh, quite a few UFC cards. Oh, never mind. He packaged UFC cards in here. This was an eBay auction. Well, let's see. The UFC cards. Paige Van Zandt. No relation to Steve Van Zandt or Rob Van Zandt of Leonard Skinner. We, oh, wow. Frank Mir. Nice. Stipe Miokic and Luis Simoka. Well, that's awesome. I like those. I'm actually happy with that. But yeah, this thing here. I believe it's 2001, it is, Tops American Pie, I got the insert of JFK, I do have another one of these coming Monday, because I found it um, misspelled in the title auction, so no one else bid on it, and I'm getting that one for $2 shipped. This one I believe cost me 8 but what's good about this, J John F. Kennedy speaks at the Berlin Wall. Congratulations, authentic remnants from the Berlin Wall in this card. Uh, obviously, it's not, mu mu not much, but if you can see that when you turn it, those pieces move, you can actually even hear them in there. That is authentic Berlin Wall JFK card. Now, I'm an idiot for anything JFK or history. This hits both big time. So that was awesome. And... Here's the one, the one and only Bud Stoney. Turn your head, hide your, hide your eyes. Okay, is he gone, guys? Yeah, I think he is. For his binder, and this is going to put a big dent in his, one of his special collections, the Eclectic Collector, thus his name, the one and only Bud Stoney. He collects cards all numbered 420 throughout the years. Any sport, any non-sport, but he likes the number 420, which is a given. So, we have Sin Chu Chu. We have a Pat Burrell. We have Carlos Delgado. And yes, these are all numbered 420, and they all came from the same dealer. I got this whole lot which shipped for 21 35 and you'll see what costs so much in just a second here Danny Jackson uh, Noah Lowry Corey Ashey Paul Quantrill There's one of them Hall of Famer all pro 1976 Jack Ham 
in pretty good shape. A little off center, he does not mind that, but the corners are sharp. Got a Tom Mack of the Rams. Jim Maloney is full of baloney. Save that one for last. He gets one of my favorite Cecil Cooper. Man, I loved him. Coop. A 75 Larry Boa. All-Star. Look at this. Hall of Famer, Sporting News All-Star, Ron Santo. Inducted in 2012. Posthumously, unfortunately. And that is... I don't know if that's a printing fly or what, but that's okay. But it is number 420. Come on. Can you focus a little bit? Trust me, it's 420. <laughs> so that is awesome. A big dent in his collection for his needs. So guys, sorry it took so long today, but with so much to open and so many stories to tell and everything, um, that is today's mail day opening. Again, Junk Wax Girl, kudos, I loved it, I liked your video again today, you opened some great Fairfield stuff, so I am much appreciate, appreciative. Keep up the good work, you and everybody else out there. Um... And with all of that, guys, I'm going to let you go now, and I'm going to get out of here, stop boring you, wait for more mail, because I have no cards to buy. Get ready to send out some of my care packages, your stuff over here in stacks, your stuff here in stacks, and I have my 100 subscriber giveaway coming up in... What, 19 more um, peep subscribers. And as I said last time, I've added to the list a serial numbered Mickey Mantle, number 40 of 150, along with an Aquino, a Glaber Tours, that's a short print, an R2D2 takeoff of ACDC, and Damakon Sue Silver Rookie Card. The Rack Pack, unopened, 87 tops with the Barry Larkin rookie card on it. Beautiful pack, on top of a lot of other stuff. And I've already got other stuff to add to it from my personal collection. So please, tell everybody to stop on over, watch me, and win stuff. Become friends, as we all have, and I can send stuff out, and I can receive just as easily. With that being said, guys... Have a great day, take care, be excellent to each other, and peace!